Let's read that to us again, McGowey. Paid. Pay Skywalker distributors in full less discount. I see. I also see that in entry nine, we have an error. In entry nine, we don't have an error. The journal entry was correct in entry nine. But what happened was she posted it incorrectly in entry nine. So, oh, yes. so now oh, yes. erase the 4,500. <laughs> make a new T account for account payable because that's a different, that was for Dakota. So make another, don't erase that one, leave that one up there. But make another T account for, this was for uh, Skywalker. So make another account payable, T account. You know, just abbreviate Sky, War, Sky or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. 4,500. It's on the right side. Okay. That was entry nine. So we paid them in full less the discount. Is that what happened? Yes. All right. Let's see if you can do it then. How Mike is doing as a coach here. So the first thing is how much do we have to pay them? What was the discount on that? Was it 1% or 2%? It was 2%. 2%. So you could do it either one or two ways. You could either multiply 4,500 times 0.02 and subtract it from the amount owed, or you could take 2% minus 100% and multiply that. Do another T account for Skywalker accounts payable? Yeah, it's good to make another T account. Just make another one. That's what I like to do. Okay. You could have used the same one because it was back to zero. That's fine. So now, so it's 4,410. Okay. The 2% discount. I didn't get it. Prove it, Andrew. And we're with our friend Angie. Not to leave her out of it, because she is another little beauty queen. Buy, right? She yeah. is another yeah. little. Less two percent. She is another beauty queen, so, and she's a part of the NJ Campus family, and, and so is her, and that's Dan up there, in this facility. What do you got? And he's a he's a he's, he's a movie star type. Huh? Answer, Maybe right? that's a good shot for him. He can show his friends that he's on YouTube to go look at him. Yeah. You can show your friends, Dan, uh, Gabriel, uh, Genesis, and then. So either way, I mean, one way to prove it will be 4,500 times 0.98. 4410. Okay, that's how much cash. Two percent. That's right. So we paying or receiving here? I'm forgetting. What happened? We're paying or they're paying? Oh, we're paying. We're paying. Because it's for Skywalker. We're paying Skywalker. Okay. So. So since is cash going to be a debit or a credit? So if you're on a test, go down a few spaces because you know you're going to need some debits on top of it. So you could do cash first. Forty-four ten. Okay. Okay. Next, make account payable zero. Debit or credit? How much to make account payable zero? Forty-five. True. Forty-five. And you can see this is a big bad problem. We're already up here to entry thirteen. We did a whole problem before this too. So these guys have put in a good hard day's work here. Doesn't balance though. What is the other account? Inventory. That's right, inventory. By decreasing inventory with a credit, we bring it back. We bring that account back to historical cost because we didn't pay forty five hundred for it, which is what the inventory was on the books for. We only paid forty four ten. Since we took the discount per the cost principle, we decrease the inventory. The course principle states, um, Megalia, that whatever we pay for something, that's what it's worth. If Danny goes and buys something, a new computer, and he pays $3,000, I know nothing about computers, but if he paid $3,000, I'm willing to believe it's worth $3,000. That's called the historical course principle. Okay? 
not Danny, Gay Genesis. My Mary's son is named Daniel, and he comes and hangs out with us at night sometimes when mom's getting her accounting lessons. Beautiful. And she was saying one of these students went to one of these private $2,000 schools and didn't know that revenues minus expenses equal net income after getting an A in the class. So what can, you, what can I tell you? It's crazy. But, you know, it's wild. Acid. So I have to study sociology and anthropology and just uh, get a really hold on why it is that way. Okay. Like I said, it's another story. Read to us, Miss. We got one more tricky spot coming up here, okay, before we Two call it a day. Two more. Okay. Made refunds to cash customers for defective merchandise, $90. The return merchandise had a scrap value of $30. All right, this is what I was going to tell you. This is the spot that now, this is the last thing we're going to learn today. We learned a lot of stuff today. Yeah. Now, okay, see entry A and B? Yes. See entry 2A and 2B, for instance? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, that was receivable, but they're talking about cash customers, so at this, this has to do with entry um, 11A. 11A and 11B. Now, here, here's what i got to tell you. You ready for this yes. explanation? Mm -hmm. okay. Angie. Question? Are you... Question? No, I have no question. Angie, whenever, like when we send something back, we credit payable, I'm sorry, we credit inventory and we debit either cash or account payable. True, McGowie? McGowie? Uh, what was that, McGowie? Time? If we send inventory back, okay. we credit inventory to decrease it. Yes. And then we'll either debit account payable, payable. to reduce yes. what we owe them yes. or debit cash. Either way. Either way. Now, when, we, when, when they send stuff back to us, okay. what I have to do is I have to reverse entry 11, the A and B entry, exactly as they do it. In other words, I have to debit revenue, credit cash, or debit revenue and credit account receivable, and then debit cost of goods sold expense and debit inventory. Okay. Except for one little thing. So remember, we just flip it as it was done, mm -hmm. except for one little thing. Instead of debiting inventory, we, I'm sorry, instead of debiting revenue, we debit the special account, which is the same thing as debiting revenue, sales, returns, and allowances. Okay. So in this case, we're going to step A, debit sales, returns, and allowances for the amount of revenue, which is how much? Okay, sales returns and allowances for 90, debit. And then it was cash customer, so we're going to credit cash because we're giving them a refund, a cash refund. Now they sent stuff. Now we're also going to reverse this entry B. We're going to reverse entry B. Mm -hmm. so, that, so what we're going to do is we're going to credit CGS and debit inventory. So debit inventory first. We're going to debit inventory. The stuff has a value of a scrap value they gave us back of $30. So debit inventory and credit CGS. This is the one ex case where we decrease expense. Like I said, expense is a verb. It's always increasing. This is the one case where it's credited. When we have to return Oh, we actually, when we have to issue like an, a credit in cash to a customer. I don't know what you, issue a credit in cash is a confused, credit means right, so. Right. I'm not sure, okay. I mean. Or when we have to give money. When, when, you know, when we say we're going to give a credit, that's what it means, right. we're going to credit cash or credit account receivable. Right. It's, okay, so, I'm sorry, go ahead. And it's when our, we are going to use the sales return and allowance. That's the only account that we'll use when we have to give money for a return. That's right. We give stuff back, whether it's a pay, it could be receivable too. It would still be sales, returns, and allowances if it was an account receivable also. And what is the difference? What is the difference? When, when do we um, 
use accounts receivable.